Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Alice in Wonderland. With Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yeah, there's, I can't tell you the last time a new album got released by anybody. Yeah. And I was excited about it. I mean, because even my, like, I, I know... I, I'm gonna say something here. I'm not the hugest fan of Sleeping With Sirens. I'm not. I like a, a couple of their songs, a handful of their songs. Uh, obviously... One of their songs, the acoustic version, was played at our wedding. That's our song, me and my yeah. wife. So I have to respect them a little bit. A little bit. But they just came in with an album called Complete Collapse. And um, it was not good. Like, there was nothing... Maybe Bloody Knuckles was alright, but, like, I'm just looking here and... Letting You Down and Bloody Knuckles are the only two that I maybe listen to again. Mm -hmm. Who's, um... I don't want to actually play it. Is my volume down? So I can... I just want to read where it's cut off at. Um, they did a song, though, with uh, Spencer Chamberlain. I don't know who that is either. I don't know these people, man. No, stop playing. I just want to know who Spencer Chamberlain is. He's from some band. Oh, yeah, I figured that much. Oh, maybe I don't know him. He's from Under Oath? I've heard of them. Never heard their stuff. Hmm. It's all the same. Yeah. It all is the same. Yeah. Now, I was surprised. There's a Japanese extreme... I don't even know what you would call it. I guess heavy metal is, is the closest closest genre you can get to. It's not heavy metal, but that's... I'm, I'm going to say that it is. It has a little bit of everything. <laughs> uh, but Maximum the Hormone, I was a huge fan of them. Mm -hmm. um, mostly because they played... Uh, you remember... It, it's been a while, I know. Do you remember one of the endings to uh, uh, Death Note when you were watching that? It was a very... If I played it, you might remember, but it was a very, like, heavy metal song. They played at the end of, like, uh, episodes of... You always just played that one song all the time. Which, we went. which song? I don't know, but it had, a, like, a really long-ass fucking instrumental outro, I feel like. Hmm. Or, I... I don't know. Obviously, don't know any of the words. Yeah. But if yeah. I heard the song again, oh yeah, I would know what it was. But anyway, they kind of they kind of just d dissipated. Like dissipated. like I know the dissipated. I know the girl in the band got pregnant, and they were like, we're going to take a break. Then they took a hiatus. Then they just never came back. Um, and then uh, recently, they did uh, two songs, and I was like, oh, so not an album, but you know, two songs. That's pretty cool. Oh, you know when you might also know them from? Did you see um, Dragon Ball Z Frieza? Yeah. They did the intro, the, the F, F for Frieza. Oh, it's been years since I've yeah. seen that. But they did the song for that, too. Where they literally sang a song about Frieza. <laughs> so silly. Name of the song is called F, but... Of course yeah. it is. Yeah. The F for Frieza. Oh, they faked me out here. No, that's no right. you're good. This is what I wanted. Yeah. But yeah, there really hasn't been anything. My, uh, the last thing my Aesop Rock did, which is the, the rapper that I, the only rapper I have any respect for, is uh, he's been, uh, he did Garbology here la either this year or last year. Um, and then that's it for him. He hasn't been doing anything new. So nothing's really been coming out. Damn. Gorillaz is coming out with a new album. I like, I don't know, have you heard either of the songs? Yeah. Oh, I, like, I literally only like classic beats. That's it. That's the only fucking album I will vibe to. Yeah. That's it. That was 2000 fucking 10. Yeah, they, they're coming out with a new album. So far, they only have three singles. They have uh, New Gold, which is just alright. Cracker Island, which when it came out, I was like, this is really good. And the more I listened to it, I'm like, this isn't as good as I thought it was. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you get that. Sometimes you get a song where you're like, um, oh, I really like this. This is really, this is really cool. And then you give it a couple listens and you're, because you listen to it nonstop. And then you're just kind of like, eh, you know, yeah. this isn't as good as I was. Good. Yeah. But they just released, I guess, recently here, they just released a new single called Baby Queen. I don't know what Baby that is. Yeah. I haven't heard it yet, though. But that was new two days ago. They just released that. I 
Why would I care what T-Pain's doing? You know, just, no. Maybe you secretly like T-Pain and you're afraid to admit it to people. And I'd be afraid to admit that too because he's garbage. <laughs> he's garbage. I hate his auto-tune. Yeah, like, he made that he can, The man can sing and when he doesn't, he doesn't have the auto-tune. Well, then he needs to be real because... You know, um, I, I don't think you watch it, but there's a TV show called Mass Singer. That's very popular. I, I heard of it. Well, he won one of the seasons. Like, that's... That's not fair. How can Ryan Reynolds be in a Pikachu costume and you put actual a singer on there? How do you expect people like that to compete against each other? You just fucking can't, right? Huh? You ever see that? i seen a clip of that. Him and the Pikachu. It was that movie came out, obviously. They thought they were being clever there. Like, ah, put him in a Pikachu outfit. I'm sorry, I just spit up everywhere. And it was so obvious that it was Ryan Reynolds. Like, There's no way that you don't know that this is Ryan Reynolds. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to get at was that people were really surprised when they heard T-Pain sing without the auto-tune. Like, he actually got through and they voted him in as one of the best singers of that season. And I was yeah, because he could actually sing. Yeah. It's an unfair advantage. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the time they just have actors and other famous people on there. It'd be mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, they do. They so do you they actually do. put somebody on there that knows what they're doing. It doesn't seem fair. Right. Fucking Ryan Reynolds can't compete with that. Oh. <laughs> you can't. Oh, Disturbed came out with a new album. Oh. Never been a fan of them. Four Year Strong came out with something. That's kind of fun. Yeah, not, not, not too much coming out, though. Nothing that I really want to, like, jive into and, you know really listen to. Little Dragon keeps doing stuff, but... Yeah. yeah. I haven't looked at anything they've done for years. Yeah, not since Plastic Beach. God damn it! I know, you're going through your deck multiple this times. This is a terrible to, deck. Yeah. We need to get out of here as quickly as possible. Dude, the boss battle is going to be super hard. I usually struggle with it. Maybe it's a good thing we did do the Coliseum first to yeah. get some more levels, but it's still going to be rough. You don't even have anything higher than six in your deck. Yeah, they, it's really they're expecting bad. you to, like, you know, make then, combos. Well, I can't because I'm going to lose them all. Yeah. We're done with these. Yeah, I ain't going to do that at all. It's such a small deck. Yeah, too. Like, yeah. I don't think it gets any. It doesn't get any worse than this. Look at how small that deck is. Yeah. The last time any good <laughs> albums came out was 2020. The Deftones came out with a new album, oh. and The Strokes came out with a new album. Yeah. The Strokes won the Grammy for Best Alternative Album, but it's such a different album. Like yeah. All the bands I like that are winning these Grammys now oh, are yeah. changing up their musical style. Like It's mostly synthesizers and stuff, yeah. and not actual like rock rock that you right. think about. Right. So like, I was going to ask you about something, about Deftones, what was it? I say they kicked out their bass player, which was stupid of them. He's really good. Yeah, so they did. So Deftones did Ohms, or yeah, however you pronounce that. Oh, um, um, which I haven't had to listen to. But they also released the 20th anniversary of White Pony. Oh, did they? And it's a lot of remixes. That's why it is. It's a lot of remixes. Remix. And um, I was surprised they did Digital Bath with DJ Shadow, which is a DJ that I'm like, I, I, he does good stuff. Like I like his stuff. Maybe I have to listen to it. Um, but there's there's a lot of remixes on here, and yeah, a lot of it I don't know. I forgot they released that. I didn't listen. Yeah. To that, so. Yeah. It's just it's just the original White Pony, but then at the end of it is just nothing but like remixes. I don't know what Clams Casino is. <laughs> uh, Josh Carter, Robert like Smith, that. Purity Ring. Robert Smith is from The Cure. He's the only guy I know. He's like mm -hmm. old now, so. Right, Mike good. Shinoda. That's fucking the monotone fucking rapper from Lincoln fucking Park. Oh. The worst part of Lincoln Park is that guy. <laughs> God, I can't stand it. Well, he did Passenger remix. Yeah, well. Remix of Passenger. It's gonna be terrible. Yeah. But I just wanted to ask you about that because I was like, I don't know if you had heard it yet or no, listened to it. No, but I did like the last album they had. It's pretty, pretty solid. I haven't listened to it yet, but... God damn it! I'm fucked! Yeah, these guys... You have to keep using the holy burst. Spamming the fuck out of that. 
I feel like I have that all the time. Are they starting me out with a Mickey Holy Burst? Or do I, don't I, know. I am I You're just getting just a lot of Mickey Bursts, you know. It's doing nothing it's to that not plant. Enough. You don't have anything higher than six in your deck. You want to just wait. Now for it got step. rid of one of my cards, but it shouldn't have because I used the Mickey first. That's the rules, but yeah. somehow they're not abiding by those rules. Or unless that is a legit card that it has. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see next time when I'm in jail. Okay. We're almost there, though. It looks like the yeah, only way to go is right, right. Over, yeah. So okay, we will see you guys next time.